Hey everyone, I'm Afro. Welcome back to Oblivion. Um, I don't know why I closed that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Let's get my ugly face out there, yeah. Should show this to Joffrey. Oh yeah, that's why I'm at Cloud Ruler. That makes sense. It's been a bit since my last record. As is customary. I had to... Could have done this off screen. But I didn't. I love how dark this game is. Very ugly. Um. Oh yeah, I swiped these. All right. Conceptually, the idea of like, hey, you stole that. No, I didn't. Just fucking throwing the whole thing in your mouth. That's hilarious. Oh, huh. Well, uh, this ain't good. Can we just wait? Okay. Alright, guess I'm not using a shield for a bit. I've made some progress on the Mysterium Zoxy. You are far too quiet, Mr. Bean. I put aside the dark arts when I okay. became a priest. But the workings of fate may be seen in this too. The gods can turn anything to good. Or so I piously told those who came to see me for advice. Yes, John Bean is in this Perhaps game. Perhaps I may yet come to believe it myself. I know, right? They put it... <laughs> I don't know if anyone else could hear that, but she said, I thought you were playing Civ. I've learned that the Mysterium Xarxes is both the gate what? and the key. I feel like Sean Bean's paradise. the kind of guy who doesn't know what a video game sense, is, you know? Is Cameron's paradise. She's like, it's a movie, but you're holding a television Manca remote the whole Cameron time, found right? himself to the Sarxes when he created his paradise using dark rituals, which I will not speak of. I, I can't believe that it was... I've talked a about it before already, of course, but I can't believe that it was a surprise to me that Sean Bean's in this game. Because, like, you hear Patrick Stewart in the first 30 seconds, the assuming, you know, that but your time is eaten up by done. a couple of crashes. I will continue working to decipher the arcane items needed for the um, binding ritual. Farewell, my friend. Didn't I need to talk to you about something specific? Friend, I'm still. It is now clear, Emperor. And Relight the dragon, the dragon fires. Fire. What is These that? These divine gifts, the Daedra of Oblivion, have been kept at bay for thousands of you years. You know what we do to keep Daedra at bay in Morrowind? While the dragon fires burned. The divine barriers kept the Daedra from that. making more than fleeting visits to our world. But the dragon fires also in the can only be relit by an heir of the Septim blood, wielding the Amulet of Kings. Okay. This was the essence of Manka Cameron's plot. He was undone only by the merest chance. But his complete victory Shots, remains huh? perilously close. We must recover the Amulet of Kings and relight the dragon fires before it is too late to stem Dagon's invasion. Farewell, my friend. Oh my god, you're not Joffrey. I wish I could. This says Joffrey. God. Pardon me. But it seems you did all right on your own. That makes sense. Baragon, huh? Like a bar Aragon? Anyone? Um How's my audio looking? I'm gonna turn that down a little. I'm very annoyed. It wasn't that bad prior, but I'm now very hairy. What have you learned? Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The gods did not idly choose you as their agent, whatever you may think. Yeah. But it is clear that Mankar Sometimes, in fact, they idly chose me and then Roma. later fixed my stats with a console. You should speak to Martin. Oh, awesome. Great. 
I will send word to the Countess at once of the dangers of Brumen. Stupid. Hail. I need to talk to you. Uh, Rain. I've deciphered part of the ritual needed to open a portal to Camelon's Oh, God, you can see the veins in his face. Ugh, ugh. Four items needed for the ritual. It's weird Sean Bean so veins. Far, I have only deciphered one of them. The blood of a Daedra Lord. In fact, a Daedric artifact... I'm very, I'm very glad that my wife is only listening and not watching, Lord. because if she was watching, she'd be like, I get some good blood out of those. Not an easy thing to come by. Never know any phlebotomists. Just make a habit of it. If you know a phlebotomist, they're just gonna be like. When you have acquired one. Like it's like you're sitting with a vampire, you know. The only way to obtain a Daedric artifact is through the cults devoted to each of the Daedric lords. Huh. The book Modern Heretics is the best introduction to Daedric cults. Anyway, knowing any phlebotomist or anyone related to the field, Remember, automatically they will be scoping people up. If they see somebody with a with a busted heroin vein in their arm, they're gonna be like, "Ooh, that would suck to suck the blood out of." And conversely, if they see someone with a really nice big bulgy vein that you can really drain the blood out of, they'd be like, "Oh shit, yeah." I've known. <laughs> God, I can tap that. She says. Talking about the blood in a man's arm. Phlebotomists, basically vampires. I love brewing a potion out of potatoes and venison. Bro, a stew? Why don't I put my good stuff back on? Okay. Oh, Book of Deja. Okay. Mark for special interest in the heading Malakath. So, let's re-examine what exactly we're doing. Read Modern Heretics to find a Daedric artifact. So yeah, we just need to, we need to straight up get a Daedric artifact. Does this like, what's the book of the name? Modern Heretics. Does this like burn it? Oh, here we go. Daedra worship. Uh, Azura, queen of dawn and dusk. A worshiper might. I found the shrine of Azura. I read some books. I found some covens, day of the week, yada, yada, yada. This is predominantly about Azura Star. So, um... Huh. I'm gonna have to, like, straight up... Give them a di oh man, you can see Isle there. Interesting. I think more went somewhere over here. Oh yeah, there it is. And there's Skyrim. It's interesting that the borders between Morrowind and Skyrim aren't drawn. Hammerfell. Outer school six. I'm calling it right now. Right, yeah. What? <gasps> oh, okay. It, I hit I hit I hit my head on the lantern. I thought that I had What do you need, friend? Uh I thought a chair just went flying. Okay. <laughs> I like how clear that sign is. One thing about Skyrim that does bug me a little bit is that vanilla Skyrim in almost every generation, and now we're on like the what? The f third console generation? 
Not counting the other shenanigans that have happened to Skyrim. Um, but like you, you filter in all of the console generations of Skyrim that we've that we've been playing. You look at all those, and like the signs look like shit in every version. Like I don't know why, but the 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 signs, like the posts. The little signposts look really bad in every version of Skyrim. So I'm going to I'm going to do some exploration just because like look at how much of the map is not filled out here, you know? Of course I am just heading back to Kvatch. So Oh, there's enemies. Damn. Man, vanilla oblivion in modern year. Current year, I should say. Sorry, horse. All the fun texture poppins of 2006, recreated for your viewing pleasure. Um, I don't know if there's an open, uh, like an open Morrowind. Because that was what I used for my LP. Um, initially, I was doing LPs in just Vanilla Morrowind, and like it really didn't work out well. I actually, this is uh, semi embarrassing, <laughs> but I have um, the first couple episodes of a really old, really bad uh, Morrowind LP recorded in like 2020, I think. Huh. It's a fancy ass. Oh, is this like a Daedric altar? Cause huh. Um. Mm. What the hell was I talking about? Right. Um. I have a I have a bad mediocre Morrowind LP and like doesn't run in a good frame rate. It doesn't run in a good uh, resolution and like those are straight up like actually bad. And like you know my my inexperience. Um with LPing really shows. Uh, and the, like literally the next LP I recorded, which was Halo Reach is like a bajillion times better. Like that LP is still decently watchable today. That's an, that's astounding, you know, the fact that I can go back and look at something I did two years ago, not want to vomit. Honestly, pat myself on the back for that one. I feel like I deserve a good pat on the back for it. I'd love to be like, Put your headphones in or something. Stop listening to me. I'm used to saying all my dumb bullshit. I'm used to saying all of my dumb... She blew a kiss at me. I'm used to saying all of my dumb bullshit when um, people can't hear me. Makes it a lot easier, you know? We're currently solving the problems, working together, making it better by... um. She's supposed to be studying. See her on Facebook and then on her Gmail. Because if I'm being productive, it makes people want to be productive around me. It's like one of those paladinic auras. What? Okay, yeah. That flower is just called Columbine, I guess. I guess Columbine in the high school has to be named after something. I guess. Goodness knows. So, am I... I'm not, actually. Hmm. I don't know if I... I I'm, I'm going to assume here that the item that I'm going to burn... Assuming I follow this quest in the way that they intend, the item I'm going to burn is going to be Azura's Star. Uh, and I don't know if I want to do that. Um, so I might hit, I'm exploring now just to get some more locations on my map. I'm not going to console command and just give me all the locations because what would be the fucking point? 
Um, no more wolfies. What the hell? Oh, a gate to oblivion, of course. I want to do it. Let's see about it. Save often. The planes of oblivion are fucked up. Yeah, give me more fire. I'm a Dunmer, bro. I don't fucking care. Uh, I was drawing earlier. I do occasionally enjoy a good drawer. Or drawing, if you like. Um, and I was doing a bit of coloring with permanent marker, and I think it's given me a headache. I've only just noticed it now. Should we be turning up the difficulty here? Do a little bit of save rotation. What is it, boy? My cat's darting around my feet. I think. Oh, he's playing with a thumbtack. <laughs> Little bastard. So, um, I got distracted on account of my kitty cat. <gasps> hmm? Oh. You. Uh, is this gonna be a problem? <clears throat> hmm. I can't create potions when enemies are nearby. What are you smoking? Oh, I'm dispelling and not healing myself. Oh, thank you. My wife got me a headache pills. I assume this could be crack for all I know. Thank you, sweetie. Just do a little bit of that, and then let's get some healing on. So what it hit me? Is he poisoning his bow or something? Or is this like a Dramora Churl? Field arrows, Daedra Heart, Dramora Mace. Dramora Light Bow. How much is this way actually? 22. Damn, that's too bad. Okay, I feel like these are th uh, things that I could stand to start cutting out, you know? Because, like, let's be frank here. They haven't really been that different. There was a concept I think I was talking about in one of my roguelikes. Um, I think, at least, I was doing this. Where, like, or no, um... I was talking about the puzzles in Assassin's Creed. I forget why I was talking about that, though. Um, but I was talking about the, the weird random little, like, sliding and, and painting puzzles in Assassin's Creed. Like, specifically the stuff you re require to unlock the truth. You know, the special effect that is just called the truth in AC2 and Brotherhood. I don't remember if it's in Revelatons. Um... Oof. 
You got me. Uh, where was I going with this? Right. Oh, yeah. Last time I did one of the... Wait, hold on. Let me finish my thought process. Anywho, I think I talked about them as, like, value adders. Where they just, like... They don't really have that much of a purpose. They're kind of just there to almost try to add value. Like, look, not only can you, you know, pretend to be a cool Venetian ninja, but you can also do sliding block puzzles. You know, that sort of thing. And it's like, if you had put more time into being... Into, you know what this game is about and you would specialized and focused in on what that is supposed to be, maybe the game would be better, you know? Because Assassin's Creed 2 isn't perfect. Wow, you got me. Um... The healing? Oh man, there's all of you too. We quickly kill Darth Maul here. They're in a DPS race against me. This is a raid boss. I'm the boss. Let's have another one of my uh, sips here. I don't know if I had a disease, but just in case. All right, one less guy. Word. Whoa. Whoa! Who's kitted out? Okay. These are heavy, so let's do something with these. The thing that I was talking about was last time I was unable to find the thing that stopped the the Oblivion Gate. Oh, it's so heavy. It's also not actually that good. Oh, we should repair stuff. Do we have any hammers? We do. Oh, cool. Okay, so I don't know what the last one was then. Because we ran into a thing where, like, I wasn't able to close that last Oblivion Gate. I don't need... Of all of the things to stop me from doing, why is dropping an item something? Ooh, I see something in the distance. <laughs> Not hell joint. We have another cure diseases. Man, I saw this awesome post. 
someone was like, I love asking people at a uh, drunk people at parties questions because you know that you will get something good out of it. I asked a guy what spell he would cast if he was able to cast any spell in the world, and I know he wasn't lying when he said summon creatures. I just, I love the idea of a spell that's called summon creatures. What kind of creatures? I don't know. That's the spell. <laughs> It's like the uh, uh, the Zath from uh, Bionicle. Is this a Daedric Shine? This looks pretty heathenous, pretty paganry, vaguely evil. I really like the Daedric art in um, uh, Morrowind. This should come as no surprise, but like, I really like how it's like, yeah, you know, we just there's a bunch of Daedric houses over there. Just don't go over there. There's a bunch of demons. You know, there's big evil Shreks and goblins and fucking Dramoras and Golden Saints as well. But like, you know, for a while you're only going to be seeing things that it, like a thing that is literally called a scamp. You know, something silly like that. I want to get my sprint. I've lost my horse. That's one of those things that they have really fixed in modern games of just like, I don't know where my horse is. You don't need to know, bro. Just fucking hit the horse button. Get the... Here's another one. Damn. I feel like I should be doing these off camera, but like, on the other hand, this is the game. There's like, what, 80 of these things? Something huge and crazy like that. Besides, that last one was pretty short. One of those little trip mines. There's this um thing that I talked about in... Well, I almost don't want to say it now. I've talked about it in Morrowind, but I don't want to say the name of the actual LP that this idea originates from. But I was playing New Vegas on hardcore difficulty, and like... That, that that playthrough didn't stop because I'm bad at New Vegas or I can't play it on hardcore. It's just that New Vegas is already a, sh like, really shitty game to run. Like, that game is, is barely functioning, I would say. And then, factor in, you also need to record it. Like, it, it is not trolling to say the best way to record New Vegas would be to just fucking get a 360 and a disc and a capture card and then rig that all together and just do it like that. Like, Vanilla New Vegas. And, like, I'm kind of trying to do vanilla stuff. Um, I do often like just doing vanilla games because, like, that means something, you know? Because if I'm playing something with a mod, that's technically a different game. But, like, if I'm like, look, I'm playing fucking Vanilla New Vegas. This is exactly as developers intended. This is, you know, what they, they put together. And, like, granted, what the New Vegas developers intended was not actually what came out. But I digress. Um, but there's this thought process that I noticed of, like, this is particularly true with um, Bethesda-style RPGs because of the way that they come together and the way that their difficulties work and that doesn't look right. The way that their difficulties work. Yeah, I bet you're loading the area. Um, but typically the difficulty slider is not how hard the game will be. The difficulty slider is just how long it is before the game becomes really really easy and simple and you know, you could play with your eyes shut. Because, like, in Morrowind, like, yes, the early game of Morrowind is hard. I know. Ow. I would... I, I am an expert in the early game of Morrowind. You know what? It sucks. But eventually you suffer through it because then you can, like enchanted daedric 
like katana with a bunch of bullshit, or you can get gold brand. Let's do some more potion or some more spells on these fools. All oh, right, wrong thing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, sorry, I got distracted from what I was thinking about, but I digress. Yeah, like, it's all, it's, it's never, this will be hard now, it's just how long is this going to take before it's easy? Because eventually, every Elder Scrolls game, or Skyrim, or, like, uh, Skyrim mod, I should say. Or, like, the modern Fallout's. Like, they all eventually get really, really easy. Bones. Hmm. I don't know if I'm in the right place. Um, I'm going to come back off camera. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys later. I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. Thank you for coming. Have a good day. I hope you had a good time. I did. Bye.